hello, how are you? This is Els Kimmy from Bemis Crafty Corner. And today's project is this and then some, okay? Um, so I've seen a lot of people doing these. I've watched quite a few videos uh, of people that are doing these little envelopes and they're not really envelopes. Um, they look like an envelope, but you can't open the front and it just has this little tuck in the back. And, you know, they're decorating both sides of them and I guess you could put them in a pocket or something or if you just decorate the front like this one you could glue it down and have like little use this as a tuck in the back and I think that's really great but if I glue this down to me that's a that's a lot of wasted real estate you know so I said well let me see what I can do with this so um, I did this now this looks almost the same um, this is tea dyed this is not, obviously. Um, but the thing is, is that mine has a pocket in the back, just like this one does. Only mine opens and has a pocket here as well. So I'm going to show you how to do both of them. We're going to do this one first, and then I'm going to show you how to do this one, okay? So let me grab some supplies, and I'll be right back to walk you through this, all right? All right, supplies on this one. Dauber ink. A fine tip black pen, preferably something that doesn't bleed. A pair of scissors, glue, a glue stick. I know, right? Glue stick. Paper trimmer and some pages from a book. Uh, this one is uh, oh, I don't know. How big is this? This particular book is seven by five, okay? And I'm just gonna go in here. And I'm gonna take some pages out. old ruler. Let's put it on this side. Okay. So now I have some book pages and I am going to even these up a little bit. And I'm just taking that frayed edge off the side, basically. Okay. So here was my issue with the original one. The writing on the bottom is upside down. Okay. That was kind of my issue with the, uh, with the original ones. So let me grab a book page. And I'll show you how they did this. So they started at the top here, at the bottom, and they fold the bottom up about an inch, inch and a half, okay? Let me get my bone folder because I, I like a nice crisp line, okay? And then they took the back and they fold the back up, but not quite all the way to the top. Oh, about a half an inch from the top. Now the writing on the back is right side up, but the writing on the front is upside down. Then they take the whole thing and they sort of bend it in half. They don't fold it because you don't want to crease here, but you do want to line up your corners and come up about, oh, about a quarter of an inch or so and cut a thin wedge. That's going to give you that front flap, okay? So at this point, in the process. You ink across the top. You ink this edge. The little flap, or shall we say the faux flap. And down the sides. Across the bottom. And up the other side. Now, if you're planning on leaving this out then you're going to want to you know ink here and these sides for me i would glue this down to a 
page as a pocket, so I'm not gonna do that, okay? And then we take our glue stick and we glue the top flap down. And then we just glue the pocket in the back. Use our ink pen and put on some faux stitching. Now, if you have a sewing machine and you want to sew this before you glue it down, by all means, do that. The important thing here is to try and make them about the same length and the same spacing in between so that it actually looks like, you know, stitching. Okay, and then you can decorate this up however you want. And what you end up with is a little envelope with a little faux pocket, you know, in the back, okay? So that is the first way. Now I'm gonna show you the second way. So let me get this out of the way and I'll be right back to show you how to do it the second way. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so to do this the second way, you're gonna put one book page upside down with the top of the book page facing you. And we're gonna fold down. Let's do the top first. We're going to fold down the top about an inch, inch and a half. And then we're going to fold the bottom up to that fold. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing where we sort of fold it in half, match up our corners, and cut our little wedges, okay? Then we're gonna take our second piece. We're going to fold it in half. On the front with the letters facing away from us and up, we're going to fold down about an inch. We want this to be just short of that fold line, okay? And I'll show you when I ink everything. You'll see it'll be a little bit clearer. And then on the back, the same thing. We want to fold this piece in about an inch, inch and a half. Okay, so now we're gonna do some inking, but before we do that, we're gonna do a little bit of gluing. So the first thing we're gonna do is on the piece that has our top on it, this bottom panel, we're gonna glue it down. Glue stick. Now you could use tape on this if you want. That's entirely up to you. We're gonna glue that part down, okay? Then on the other piece, we're gonna glue down these little flaps that we put on it. 
And again, you can use tape or regular glue, whatever you want on this. I'm just using the glue stick because that's how I saw it done originally. And, you know, I thought I'd give it a try. I mean, to me, I don't particularly care for glue stick because I don't think that it works very well. I think it, you know, comes apart very quickly. Um, this one, the Scotch Permanent, tends to last a little bit longer, I think. But, you know, that's just personal choice. All right. So now I have this piece that has my two folded ends, crease in the middle, one slightly smaller than the other. And then I have this piece that has this all glued down and it's got the little flap right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to ink here. We're gonna ink here. We're gonna ink this whole flap on this piece. The top, the flap both sides of the top that's it then on this one we're going to ink the sides both tops and this bottom on both sides okay i'm going to go do that and i'll be right back all right so i have inked my flap my top edge my flap on this piece i also inked the inside of my flap and then on this piece, I inked my center line, both of my top and bottom and all the way around, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put this piece onto this piece and for that, we're gonna use regular glue. We're just gonna put a little bit of glue down the edge on both sides. And then making sure that we have the part that has the writing going in the right direction we're going to put our envelope down. So now I have my flap, and when I open it up, it looks like an actual envelope. There's a pocket here, and there's an extra pocket on the back. And now I have to just add my faux stitching. So again, just nice, even, little stitches. Stitches. <laughs> Around my top here. And then I can decorate however I want. Okay, so those are the two. This is the one that has just a simple pocket in the back. This style. And then there's this one, which is this style that has a pocket in the front and one in the back. That's it. That's all I have for you today. Hey, if you're new here, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that button for me and subscribe. Like me, ring my bell. Share me with all your friends and then your friends can be my friends and my friends can be your friends and our friends can get to be friends. And before you know it, we have a giant crafting community. I go live on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And I post videos at least twice a week, usually on Mondays and Wednesdays, but you know, whenever. Uh, let's see what else. Hmm... Um, I have two things going on in 2022. The first of which is my um, journal challenge. So if you would like more information about that, the easiest way to get it is to go to the description box below and go ahead and follow the link. 
The other thing I have going on are some free classes that I'm putting out this year. If you would like more information on those, the best way to get it is when you click on that subscribe button, make sure that you click the all notifications and that way you find out as soon as those videos get released. If you would like to know what I'm up to, what's going on, you know, uh, when my videos are going to be posted, that type of thing, uh, you can check my community tab on my YouTube channel, or you can check the Facebook group where I have a listing there as well. It tells you all the videos that I'm doing uh, and when they are expected to be released, when they're scheduled to be released. So if there's a topic that you're looking for, you can find it over there. If there's something you'd like to see me do, you know, you'd like my take on something, then by all means, just... Um, drop a message to me either at uh, my email address bemuscraftycorner at gmail.com or you can do it in my Facebook group either way I will get it and uh, if it's something that I haven't done already I will certainly make the project and you know depending upon how it turns out I may send it to you until I see you again guys thanks for watching bye bye